Hi Cancer, this is your December 18th through December 24th uh, weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. Uh, we have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. Then we have uh, the Magician, clarified by the Ace of Cups. Uh, we have the Sun. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Fool, with the Two of Cups and the Chariot. And uh, we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, we also have Virgo, Leo. Um, Aries, and we have you, <laughs> Cancer. You're dealing with this King of Swords. The very first card that came out, I really like it that the Scored card showed up right away, right? So this King of Swords could be um, of an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of Air in their chart. If they're not an Air sign, it could be somebody who is very smart, very intellectual. Could be like a doctor, a professor, or a lawyer, or somebody who wears a uniform for work. Something about this person is going to be very, very special. It almost feels like when this person walks into a room, everybody stops what they're doing and they notice this person. Well, perhaps not that obvious, but uh, it's like when this person comes, walks into a room, the energy, the dynamic changes, right? This spread right here is very powerful. Is a very powerful, it's a very powerful spread, but at the same time, it's a very happy and very loving spread. And it's like this person, uh, the magician right next to the King of Swords, I think it's the same person. The King of Swords and the magician, it's the same person. I think they're capable of like manifesting stuff. And then that stuff comes into fruition. Something about this person is very special. They are clarified by the High Priestess, right? So perhaps if uh, you already know this person or if you'll get acquainted with this person this week, um, you will only scratch the surface in terms of you knowing things about this person in a good and a positive way. The High Priestess is a bit of a mysterious <laughs> card. It's a card of a secret. It's a card of intuition. Okay. Um, and uh, the Magician, clarified by the Ace of Cups, yes, it's the same person. Uh, the Magician could be a Gemini or Virgo. You know, the Magician is a card of manifestation. And most importantly, it's a card of taking action. And uh, they're going to be taking action towards you, Cancer, in the very near future. Most likely this week. The Ace of Cups is what they're manifesting. And uh, I think this is what they're manifesting when it comes to you, right? The Ace of Cups is all about genuine, authentic love. True love. The Sun in the middle could be a Leo you're dealing with, or somebody with Leo in their chart. But the Sun is a card of clarity, and most importantly, it's, a, it's the most, it's the happiest card in the deck. All right. With the sun card, we're always still on top of the world. We always feel like we've succeeded in life. We feel loved, cherished. So this is what this person brings to the table. It almost feels like a turnaround. I don't know how you're doing right now. Perhaps you're not doing so so well. But the, this whole thing is like a turnaround. Something about this individual, very special, very unique, uh, mysterious, right? And uh, this person is about to make your life. So much happier, so much happier, right? The sun, we have so many major arcana cards on the table, right? Five, I count five major arcana cards out of nine cards. And these are fantastic, amazing major arcana cards, especially the sun card. In the potential outcome, we have the full with the two of cups and uh, the chariot. Um, the full could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the full is a card of taking a leap of faith. And uh, it's not because you're reckless, but it will just feel natural to you. It will feel like, yes, this person is like a jack of all trade, <laughs> right? They make me happy. They make me happy. They bring the best out of me. That's how you will feel. And that's why you're taking the sleep of faith with this person. It will just feel like a natural thing to do. The Two of Cups in the middle is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. There's two people in the Two of Cups. I think that's you and uh, this King of Swords. Right? And uh, the Two of Cups is when two people feel the same way towards one another. The chair right next to the deck, that would be you, Cancer. So you decided to show up for your own reading. Thank you. <laughs> but it's always a good sign to have your own major iconic card in your own reading. Always is. And uh, you are in your own potential outcome. So it's definitely taking place. And in a way, it's going to be up to you. 
Okay, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the Happily Ever After card. All right, it's a card of a family, commitment, marriage, and all that good stuff. And uh, I, like I said, this is a very happy spread, right? Whenever the Sun and the Fool cards come out in the same spread, I always point out the similarities between those two cards. In the right upper corner of the of the Fool card, we have the Sun, right? And then we have the actual Sun Sun card with the Sun in it, the gesture of the person in the Fool card, and the kid riding the horse in the sun card to me this is an identical gesture also to me this is a very happy gesture so yes the sun is the happiest card in the deck the fool is often associated with being happy and the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck is the happily ever after card cancer you're finishing the year the year with a bang all right really happy for you <laughs> congratulations if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Cancer, uh, this card is for you. We have the Fool, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Um, we have uh, the Queen of Cups, Strength in the World, on the bottom of the deck. Well, um, we've got five cards on the table, and uh, four of them are major arcana cards. Yep, four. <laughs> the only minor arcana card on the table is the Queen of Cups, and I assume that's you, Cancer. And I also assume uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband or wife are participating. <laughs> and uh, this is definitely either getting ready to start something new or starting something new, right? We do have both the Wheel of Fortune and the World here. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of a new beginning and the World is a card of an ending. But I usually interpret uh, the, the World as a happy end card, right? You could be traveling or getting ready to go somewhere. Okay, perhaps something new, something exciting, something, some place you haven't been before. And it could be a little bit risky in terms of uh, not, like, not that you're reckless, but uh, um, it could be something you haven't done before. <laughs> right? Because uh, the full, the first card that came out is a card of uh, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. The Wheel of Fortune clarifying it is the start of a cycle, or a card of literally going somewhere. So again, you're either getting ready to start something, perhaps you're like creating a list of uh, New Year resolution this week. So you could start uh, whatever it is you're about to start on January 1st or early January, right? I don't usually recommend starting anything brand new during Mercury Retrograde. We do have Mercury in Retrograde right now, right? Uh, you can prepare for it. Uh, but if you absolutely have to start something, just be be patient because you know things could break down, there could be delays and other obstacles in the way, right? So just keep that in mind. Strength right next to the deck uh, could be a Leo, you know, but strength is a card of courage, right? And together with the full card, yeah, something new, something you may have to have courage to start. Again, I don't think it's something like crazy. <laughs> it's just that perhaps you will be, you'll have to get out of your shell, right? Pun intended, cancer. <laughs> Pun intended. All right, but uh, yeah, I, I like this. I like this spread for you. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we have Mercury in retrograde. Yay! <laughs> this is when more exes than usual tend to resurface. So we got the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. I, try, I tried clarifying that Eight of Cups, hoping to see a court card, but we still have no court cards. You know what, this is a very sad spread. The new love spread was one of the happiest spreads I've seen in a while. This is one of the saddest spreads. Perhaps this person is coming back to you because they just recently broke up with somebody else, right? And uh, they're looking for a rebound, but uh, it's like sadness times two, times five. <laughs> The, the most importantly, I don't think you're taking them back. The Four of Cups, the very last card I came out right next to the deck is a card of a rejection. And I think that's you rejecting them. You know, for whatever reason. You, you're not taking them back. You, you don't want to end the year with uh, somebody sad like that. And it, it does feel like they just recently went through something. Perhaps they will have like a really sobby story for you. But um, you're not taking them back. I think you're definitely ready for new. You're definitely ready to leave this person in 2023 and, uh, and forget about them. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer. This week we have uh, the Six of Cups, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. 
Uh, we have the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and uh, the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, you'll be hearing from someone from the past, Cancer. Alright, so when it comes to Mercury Retrograde, it's not only exes, <laughs> ex-love partners who come back, it's also ex-colleagues um, or ex-co-workers uh, coming back. You're turning them down. You're definitely turning them down. Right? The Four of Cups in the middle is a card of somebody turning someone down, and I think that's you. The Six of Cups, the first card I came out, is a card of somebody from the past in this case. The Three of Pentacles, clarifying that, is a card of work, business, and finances, collaboration, a group of pe people getting together, doing something together. Right? So somebody will reach out to you and say, if you want your old job back, or perhaps somebody you used to work with, they started a new job, and they have a new opening, and they thought of you, but you're good. You know, you, you will actually think about it. The two ones on the bottom of the deck, I think this is you like, mm, let me think about it real quick. And uh, with the Four of Cups and the Ace of Swords, you're telling them no. The Ace of Swords, this is you being very straightforward, very direct with them. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Cancer. Uh, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have uh, the Three of Cups, uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Cups. And we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I gotta be honest with you, Cancer, this will most likely resonate with uh, either male or masculine audience. Okay, I think you're the King of Cups, and uh, the person you're dealing with, with the is, a, is the Queen of Pentacles. I, I agree we all can embrace the energy of any King or any Queen. But in this case, you're the King of Cups, they're the Queen of Pentacles. What you're not expecting is run into this Queen of Pentacles at some kind of an event. Okay? Um, yeah, that's what that's what you're not expecting. So the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they're clarified by the Six of Cups, which is a card of a soulmate connection, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. Not necessarily an ex. The Six of Cups could be an ex, but it could be simply someone you haven't seen in a while. Both the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups are event cards, especially the Three of Cups. And the Nine of Cups could also be interpreted as an event card, but it could also be a wish come true. <laughs> Perhaps you've been thinking about this person since uh, since the time you haven't seen them, right? The Page of Cups, uh, this is you approaching them, right? The Page of Cups, this is you approaching them at that event, right? You're gonna tell them, hey, I haven't seen you in a while, hey, remember me? <laughs> we went to school together, or we used to work together, we used to go to gym together, uh, we used to take those ballroom dancing classes together, what have you. All right, and I don't see any rejections, Cancer. <laughs> so I think the two of you will at least have a really good time together or have a good conversation. And then you can take it from there. All right, Cancer, so that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.